hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled candace owens on the democrats want black people to fail you guys i'm excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what candace owens has for us in this video but I believe the legacy and the ancestry of black Americans is being insulted every single day. I will not pretend to be a victim in this country. I know that that makes many people on the left uncomfortable. Yes. And Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee were extremely uncomfortable as Candace Owens just slashed at the narratives of the people like Nadler and Ted Lieu. In fact, when C-SPAN tweeted out the video of the confrontation with Lou. It racked up 4.47 million views wow. in less than 24 hours. That's a it's lot. a Twitter record for that network. Joining me now in her first interview since the explosive hearing is Candace Owens herself. She's the comms director for Turning Point USA and Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney. We have both sides uh, uh, represented here tonight. Candace, why do you think that your moment, and I watched it from beginning to end, has drawn such attention and what has been the reaction to you personally since? Well, I think it drew attention for a lot of reasons. I think in many ways people on the right felt vindicated. And I know that there were a lot of moderate people that came over and realized that what I was talking about were actually real issues in black America. I touched upon the illiteracy rates. 75% of black boys in California not being able to read is a problem in black wow. America. White nationalism, when black on black crime, 90.1% of all homicides against black Americans are performed by other black Americans. That's true. The entire hearing in my opinion was a hoax mm -hmm. the continued hoax on black america which comes to us from democrats who want us ultimately to fail by focusing on something that is not harming us when you look at all of the other issues that we are facing hmm. uh now leo you watched i'm sure at least part of what candace yes. said yesterday your reaction well, I just see right now Candace Owens is getting 15 minutes of fame and just give me 30 seconds to prove my point. <laughs> she just, again, assumed that all Democrats are hoping that black people fail. On her, on her interview with C-SPAN, she says that the word nationalism has been compromised or poisoned by elitists. Tell that to the people in Charlottesville. She then tried to put herself in the same category of Donald Trump uh, talking about the false narrative. But the part that was so insulting when she's promoting her employer and said that she went to Jerusalem and not a single Democrat went there, Miss Owens, let me tell you, 72% of Jewish Americans voted for Democrats. So you did a great job of promoting yourself and playing the victim. And by the way, it's not just black people who are not stupid by what you said. Americans <laughs> were not stupid because I listened to everything you just said. Wow, you guys, this is getting more and more heated. And when it said Candace Owens is playing the victim, she is not playing the victim, but she is stating the fact and what is really the root cause of what is hindering black Americans from excelling from reaching the top because like candace owens said the percentage of black americans who cannot read and write is overwhelming i always commend candace owens for always stating the fact no matter who is involved and so many people are not ready to hear the truth and i love candace for that no matter the debate no matter the conference no matter wherever she is she always stands for what is right and I commend her for that. No matter the heat or criticism that comes from the other party, Candice Owens always stands her ground. And that is one thing I admire about her so, so much. Let me know what you guys think about this video so far. Do you think that the instances that Candice Owens stated in this video is truly the root cause of why American black community are not excelling? Unlike their white counterparts, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. And let's continue watching you guys. And okay. I hope you can challenge what I said about the number of blacks, number of Jews who support Democrats. But you did a good job of marketing yourself today, putting right. yourself in the same boat as the president. Good job, okay. Candace. All right. Um, so okay. the personal that, attack, I just want to, for the record, I just want to say attack. the personal attacks continue. That, Leah, it's, was a, you, you're attacking her character. A personal attack. She's, men, she's mentioning issues. 
You're, you know, you're, you're attacking you know her she, character she, and what she said. Lauren, you're not attacking that. that, that you're not a leader, okay, Lauren, in my opinion. She, in my opinion. Hold on, let her speak. Don't talk over the No, no, no let guests. me speak. Go ahead. Let me speak. That was an ad hominem attack, and it's childish, and I'm not going to play these playground tactics with you. I'm going to keep the focus on black America and the things that are actually impacting us. This is not. This is an adult conversation that needs to be had. Okay, the shootings in Chicago. Mm -hmm. It was Laura Ingram who, who hosted and had a real conversation with the people that were living in that neighborhood about things that are affecting them. And ultimately, this is why mm -hmm. the Blexit movement grows. This is why blacks are exiting the Democrat Party, mm -hmm. because ad hominem attacks are not making people feel better about themselves. Yeah. Ad hominem attacks are not going to impact our financial our financial Right. situation in black America. It's unfortunate because you, you consider yourself a civil rights leader. See, you, you're just attacking you know, me. You're just yeah. attacking me. You haven't Laura, actually you know, let me just offered say this. anything no, no, no that's ad, constructive no for black America. Attack. All right, Leo, does, anyone, does anyone, Laura, watch, does anyone watching your program honestly believe what she just said? I'll give you a straight. She said, Democratic Another Party want black people to fail. You, that, see, 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 those are talking points, Ms. Owens, because you know deep down inside, just because you disagree with the Democrats, you cannot assume that Democrats want black people to fail. That's what you just said on national TV. I did, and I believe, believe that, that? And, I, and I will back that up with facts. Well, okay, I will back it up point, with Laura. facts. I will back it up with facts. you know that's okay. not true. I want, I want to play something Laura, you know that's that not was true. said today. I, want to, I, I think will back it up with of, facts. I think a lot of Democrat leaders are freaking out and tried to kill her yesterday at that hearing. They're afraid. Because they don't want what she is saying to take hold in mm -hmm. other parts of the black community. Leo, I, I honestly believe yeah. that. I know Candace. And what was said about her implied mm -hmm. by you know Ted me Lou too, Laura. was disgusting. You know me. I do, and that's why I want to have a conversation about these underlying issues. <laughs> that's why we went to Chicago to do that forum. That's why we want to hear from the neighbors that are hurting in Englewood, in the Englewood neighborhood. They're hurting. They're really hurting. And yeah, they're the, not the, hurting mostly the because of, 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 black, uh, of, of white nationalism. That's, yeah. that's, uh, that's always well, going to be a problem. Well, but that's that not correctly here, here, why here, they're hurting. Here's, here's that my, is here's correct. My here's my here's you guys, Candice Owens would always say the truth and the world is obviously not ready to hear the truth because as I say, the truth hurts. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up, you guys. Request, here's my request, Laura. I would like to go to Chicago with you right. and debate Miss Owens on that issue. I would love to go. Why I'll do we need to debate? Ticket. Why don't you want to hear? Why, don't Why you do you want to debate? Uh, because I Why don't you want to go to hear about discussion. other people? You want to debate. That's like, why you don't you want to hear from the, the people most, that are... The, the most diverse party... I made an attack. I have not said one thing against you whatsoever. Hold on. Let me speak. You said not me. I have not said. Hold on. Let, let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. I have not said a single thing attacking your character because I don't need to. I am confident yeah. in my ideas. I am confident in the fact that Black America is waking up and realizing that we have been missing out. I am confident that the biggest issue yeah. facing our community Talk is father quick. absence, which further Ms. deconstructs Ms. Owens, everything you, you that have, is happening. Stop. Stop yeah. cutting me off. You I didn't have, cut you, you off. Have, okay. You have I have not every, attacked you, you once. Attacked every I have not attacked. You have I have attacked every Democrat policy. Remember this country. Democrat policies are hurting America. Are hurting Black America. Let's every Democrat, Hold on. Hold every on. Democrat, she she has basically said that every Democrat, the most diverse party of minorities, of people of color, well, she has just said on national TV over and over again that the Democrats want black people to fail. Miss Owens, well, that's not that's the person that, those are your well, words. All, that's not all, true. Leo, that is That correct. is not true. Leo, I would, that's a fact, I would actually attack. take, I would actually take what Leo said with, 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 with a greater sense of, I know, belief and credibility. Had Leo, you said something similar every time a Nita Lowy or a, you know, or a Elijah Cummings just imparts the worst motives on people who disagree with them on policy. And, and, it, and it happens far too often. So the worst motives ever come on the other side. Are you a white person? Then you have too much white privilege. Then you need to put, you, you need to sit down and let someone else's truth be heard. I think, Leo, you, you got your heard truth out. You got your truth out. Candace got her truth out. And I think we do want to okay. have problem solving done yeah. on both sides. We want problem solving on the show. And that means we have different points of view heard. And Leo, you can come. Come to Chicago. Candace, we, we'll, Thank you. we actually could roll up our sleeves and get something done, I think, if the three of us actually wanted to do that. So, uh, guys, Absolutely. thank you so much. Candace, great to have Thank you on, you. Leo. Great Thank to have you. you on. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting and heated debate. And I don't know why Leo is angry on behalf of the Democrat. He was so, so angry. And I could see the anger oozing out from his inside. And Candace Owens maintaining her calm is the icing on the cake. 
and she really ate up this debate and she had leo in a chokehold this was very very interesting and i stand by candice owens every single day because there's nothing as good as telling the truth no matter who it hurts or where it hurts let me know what you guys think about this debate and who do you think won this debate hands down for me it was candice owens as always and i really enjoyed every minute of this video if you guys enjoyed watching give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys